So far my days consisted of setting up cots and picking out different areas of this facility to make sure that families with different needs can come here, have a peace of mind. So far my role in this exercise is to hold the standard, make sure that things are getting done professionally and appropriately and on time. Um, make sure that families that have needs, their needs get met, and I'm just here for assistance. So the purpose of today's meeting, uh, to prepare the installation and all of our personnel, our tenant organizations, uh, and the primary support providers uh, of resources and logistics during hurricanes. Uh, it's, it's just to exercise all of our plans, make sure everybody's aware of what their roles and responsibilities are, how we execute those plans, uh, so that we can get everything in place before the storm happens, weather through the storm with little or no damage if we're lucky, and then be prepared on the back side of the storm to do uh, recovery operations and continue with normal operations. Okay, so you're a Marine. You guys train hard to go forward and fight our wars and defend our country, right? Okay, well, we, we're doing the same thing so that we can defend our people here at home from any kind of a crisis, whether it be something natural, man-made, so we're standing in the base's emergency operations center. This is where the key leadership from around the installation gather during large scale crisis. They're not gonna do it for a single car accident or a house fire. But if it's large scale, thinking Katrina, Sandy, uh, mass casualty incident, active shooter, something big, uh, then the key leadership gathers here. That gives the commander his ability to put his thumb on all of us and get all of our input regarding the things that we need to be doing to stop or mitigate the threat and take care of our people and then resume normal lives. It's always the focus, take care of our people, stop the threat, and then get back to normal. 